Hey, Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.2, number 53, and this was where we were asked to find the domain of the function. And it is a piecewise function, and whenever we're looking at domain, again, you're going to hear me repeat this, there's three domain issues. And the three domain issues are, hey, do you have a fraction where the denominator is zero? Do you have a radical with an even index and a negative radicand? Or do you have a logarithm where the argument is either zero or negative? And if you look at both pieces here, right, we do not have fractions, we do not have radicals, and we do not have logarithms. So that's good on that front. So initially, we would be starting with our domain thinking it was all real numbers, all right? But the piecewise function stuff does throw a wrench in it. We just need to look at the little domains that are listed here. And if I look, it says I've got one from x being less than one, so at that point it's negative infinity to one, and then I pick right back up at one to infinity. But take note that neither of these symbols has the greater than or equal to on it, so that's why we have to throw one out of the domain, only because that's how the piecewise function was defined. And so just to kind of extend that, if this had said, let's say this was greater than or equal to one right here, then my domain would have been all real numbers. But it does not say greater than or equal to one, and that's why my domain is all real numbers except x equaling one. All right, thanks so much, everyone. Bye.